Daisy, sorry to keep you. JJ Murray, please come through. <clears throat> please, sit down. So, any word from your masters yet? Uh, yeah, they phoned. Mm -hmm. My probationary training is terminated. Bringing the force into disrepute. And how's your father about that? We've not spoken yet. Liz, draft a letter of resignation from Daisy to the relevant police department. Decided to pursue different career path, etc., etc. It's all about perception, preemptive strike. What, what I need you to do is to stop the press from printing anything. Buy me some time so I can appeal, I can go to the union. Now they've tasted blood. Oh, cat and house, Chancellor. So why bring me here? Why say you can help me? You ever count the daily papers in this poxy country, Daisy? More than anywhere in Europe or America, the joy of being an island race. Hundreds of pages a day, plus shelves of celebrity weeklies to fill. Stories dry up, they generate them. Ready made stories like yours, a car crash waiting to happen. You can walk away with a million, or walk away with nothing, it's up to you. I'm not going topless if that's where this is heading. I always let the numbers do the talking. Auction of an exclusive on her story to the news of the screws or whatever, 200k plus. A couple of pastry gigs as a calling card, onto the real moolah, the covers of the lads mags. Loaded, nuts, flirt, etc. up to 30k a pop. Her own sex agony column, 25k per annum. Personal appearances, 10k to 12k a punt. Plus income from a sponsored website, endorsements, docu-soaps, reality shows. Somewhere in there I buried my 25%. On to phase two, the talk of doom. We British can be 